Police on the peninsula are investigating two shootings happening less than 24 hours apart from each other. A homicide that happened overnight on West Mercury Boulevard in Hampton and a shooting involving a teen on Manor Road in Newport News. News 3 reporter Danielle Seda talked with parents in the area, including an expecting mother about this. It's the second weekend in a row where shots were fired at a young person, making parents concerned. Another teenager has been struck by gunfire on the peninsula and expecting mother saying that she's fearful to bring her child into this world. Jasmine Rogers is a soon to be mother of two. She's expecting a bundle of joy, but recent events have caused her to be a bundle of nerves. It's ridiculous, like kids can't even be kids no more because kids got guns and shooting at the kids. It's sad. It's really sad. Roger says it's robbed her daughter and her cousins of playtime. At young ages, the concept of gun violence had to be a part of their early education and everyday life. She don't even come out here outside and play. My nieces, my nephews, my daughter, they don't come out here and play because there's always something going on, How do you like know? always. On Sunday, police covered the apartment complex where Rogers lives. The teenager shot was rushed to a local hospital where authorities believe he had life threatening injuries. A short distance from that crime scene, an overnight shooting determined to be a homicide occurred at West Mercury Boulevard. Hampton police released pictures of a suspect they say is connected to the shooting. While police investigate both shootings, parents like Rogers are left wondering, when will it end? Where's the structure? Where's the parents at? In Newport News, Danielle Seda, News 3.